Okay, now we'll take a look at the sacrum and the coccyx, okay? Not too many things to identify from a lab practical standpoint, but we'll go ahead and take a look anyway. The typical adult sacrum is five segments that you're, uh, you're born with at birth, and then uh, over time those five segments fuse into one uh, sacrum vertebra. So here you'll see the body of S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5. We'll just collectively call that whole thing the sacrum, okay? You'll have transverse lines or transverse ridges instead of discs because, again, the discs are going to disappear as this vertebra fuses. And then off to the side on both your right and your left side, you'll have what are referred to as sacral foramina. Okay? You're looking A to P here at the front. So these would be your ventral sacral foramina. And then if we go ahead and we flip this over, and now we look posterior to anterior, you'll see your dorsal or posterior sacral foramina. Okay? You'll see these little teeny tiny remnants of the spinous processes. Instead of calling them the spinuses, now we refer to that as the median sacral crest. Okay? The lateral sacral crest you'll see over to either side, we don't, although that's not on our uh, lab list, so you don't have to worry about that quite so much. And then coming off the bottom of the sacrum on this plastic vertebra, again it's attached, but you'll see the coccyx or the tailbone. Again, we start developmentally with four coccygeal bones. We have CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, and then in the average person that fuses together to give us one coccyx or one tailbone. Okay?